Hello, I'm Falag and today we are going to be wiping the floors with aliens. Hey, hi and hello everyone and welcome to another episode of XCOM Longer Impossible. Today we are going on and taking down a landed scout. It's going to be a relatively important mission due to the fact that we really, really, really need the Alarium and Alloys. So, who are we taking for this mission? We are taking a little bit of a ragtag bunch that I want to level up, so that's uh, Lara Lemmings coming up with a plasma rifle scope and then a secondary medkit, which we are going to need. I'm leaving the third spot free due to mobility restrictions. Next on we have the King Rike, who is coming with Alloy Bipod and Alloy Jacketed Rounds for crit and the uh, aim and uh, you know, base damage, and flak ammo so that will help us a lot against floaters. Now, next on we are taking uh, uh, one half of our psionic team for this mission at the uh, Raiders with the Mind Shield Cognitive Enhancer for a plus 40 wheel overall with uh, the Aurora Armor and some medkits. And the reason for that is very simple Mind Fray. And also, he's going to be mind merging with uh, our tank. Next on we have Zuriel Redux, our support tank, I mean our support psionic, as you see the wheel is only, uh, what is it, 70, 95, 93, let's say, but we are having three boom boxes, plasma rifle, aurora armor, and mine shield with smoke grenade, so that he's our support par excellence, and he can lure the floaters into some pretty nasty ambushes, let's hope. Now, our tank for this mission is going to be pounds, because... Uh, we need the Psy screen reinforced armor and impact vest for the tanking and he's gonna be basically ignoring enemy fire and being badass as he usually is. Now, our second assault is going to be Zerilkin who is bringing in with breaching and shredder ammo with uh, 12 mobility so no additional uh, small items are going to be taken and he's going to be our crit tank for this mission. Next on we have uh, Brunze with plasma nova gun and armor piercing ammo with some small items for defense because he's going to be doing a lot of suppressing for us and the last but not least paul Illich is coming with uh, a little cut down equipment due to everything being fucking broken but he is having a railgun restorative mist battle computer and tactical sensors for uh, aim crit and uh, the dodge defense that those items uh, are giving that's uh, plus 20 maximum and make it uh, plus 28, so that's fucking good. Okay, so yeah, that, that's the load that we are taking and hopefully it's going to be enough because we are facing 17 aliens. I really wish I had a rocketeer, but I have a serious rocketeer shortage, so if you want to join the roster, apply as a rocketeer, you're gonna get in. We have visual on the mission site, setting down. We had unfortunate casualties in rocketeers, unfortunately. We tracked the alien craft to a landing site in a rural area outside of a small town. We should move to secure the site and clear out any hostiles we can find. And uh, clear out any hostiles we shall. There is uh, no two words about it. Unless they're going to be tough. Then we retreat. Unfortunately we don't have uh, much in the way of scouting for this mission. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. And that means we I are going know. to have to come in basically blind. I simply does do not have a free now. scout for this mission that I would want to take. I'm on the move. Maybe in retrospect I could sit out uh, Zerilkin and bring another scout, but... Uh, Oh well, made my choices, aye, aye, now I'm gonna have to live with them. Heading to that location. The good thing about our squad oh, is that uh, they can move in formation and they can uh, meet a group of floaters. Hello. That was uh, rather fast. And I miss. That's a load of bull. Now let's see if we can uh, get even one shot into our enemies. Come on, people. 
Yay! C'est vraiment n'importe quoi. Et yeah, exactly. Okay, so this is what we are doing. I'm going to be. Let me see, 62, 73, 73. I'm going to actually be simply shooting one of the floaters. Because I can. So fuck you, floaters. Lara's gonna get rid of the seeker for me. Easy peasy. Bounce is going to be taking forward position. Roger, it behind an indestructible piece of cover because Pounds doesn't uh, want to get uh, blown up with a grenade. He wants to just take grenade in the face and live with it. And we are gonna rapid fire, maybe even hit. Let's see. Nope. The target. Would be nice though. Now, Atreides himself is not in any danger. But so I do want be. him to mind merge with Pounce so that the uh, Pounce gets the full tankiness available there you go and now Pounce is indestructible Zeril is going to be chilling okay, over now. here for now there is no real reason to attack so I won't I am going to get the uh, Surreal to provide us with smoke and Paul is gonna hopefully kill the mutant with his second shot when he hits or at least hit the mutant, that's also nice Zuriel will toss a smoke grenade, Lara can only overwatch and that leaves us with King Rike. Bye bye. Let's do this. Right, so now we have everything under control. Like so. And I think Seril can hunker down and go for a run and gun next turn. And there is nothing else that can be done, really. Yep. Overwatch, aye, aye. We are as safe as we are ever going to be. They're starting to lose ground. All right, Mutant is cowardly, cowardly, cowardly Mutant. That's a triple cowardly Mutant, I'd say. And they are running away. They think they can help themselves. Well, they're probably running to, you know, lure us into an ambush, so let's fall Got for it. Contact. There we go. This is A-OK. -okay. Pounce will want to chill behind something that can't be grenaded, though. So I'm going to first of all open fire with a sniper, then Pounce is going to fall back to a position he was in before. And we are going to wait for them. So let's make it tight. Let's put... Oh, hello Meld. I can't really go for you though. Let's put people in position where they can be of most... Uh, beneficiency, let's say. That's not really a word, but now I, now it is. I made it so. Take cover behind me, arming weapons. I made, I made it so that it is now a word. Okay, now I will want them to be probably in the open, but can I fo force them to? Not really, they will come to me in any case, no matter what's gonna happen, they will probably want to take cover over here. I may be able to use the boombox to have them come out into the open. That uh, And that will, by the way, be a perfect uh, test uh, whether or not the boombox actually works for the seekers. Because I think it does for some strange reason. 
So this will be the ultimate test whether or not. If you see the percentage on the seeker, that means that the boombox is working on it. Got and it. now Pounce is running away. But only to receive the mind merge again. And be tanky. And that means Zeril is going to once more chill and wait for an opportunity. Now let's see if the Seeker is going to fall for the boombox, that's very interesting. Uh, Mutons did, or at least there is some sort of percentage happening over there, so the mu Mutons are influenced by the boombox at least. That's right, shoot the tank. See? That's a Seeker. There you go. Seeker, even though it is mechanical, is affected by the boombox. That's amazing, that doesn't make any fucking sense, but it's amazing. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We are going to open fire to a Seeker and then destroy the mutant cover with collateral damage and then kill them. And that's what happens to a mechanical enemy that is uh, being affected by the boombox. It gets blown to pieces. Just as those two, those two mutants will be. Boom. Okay, so now this is basically a trivia. We are taking care of them and moving on with our lives. We are going to run and gun for one Zeril. You want to be here anyway. Right. You signed up for this. And how? Okay, now if I only can get the, a shot in on this guy, then we can in the zone all three of them. Oh well. That's a load of pull. It is, but nothing Moving is lost yet. Come on, Lara. Oh! Now, uh, that we know that they will have no chance of surviving, I'm going to try to capture one. Nope. Oh well. Oh well. What? Shot wide. That's... That's just fantastic, isn't it? Okay. I'm on the move. Let's make the best of it, come on. You know you can do it. Oh fuck. Damn it, missed the target. Well my pants are on fire, help! Okay, that's unexpected. Verily. They're falling back! No, don't fall back, you can't fall back. Come, stay here. No. That's not how it was supposed to look like. You can't do this to me. You promised you will stay at least until dinner. Well, fuck. Well, I guess we don't really have any choice. I'm going to... Uh send up somebody to pick up the meld if it's still gonna be there next turn Who's that? who is that going to be of course Paul the mutants have run away but it's okay you're gonna get them anyway now actually this is what I'm going to do I'm gonna take the meld this turn I'm gonna use command to pick it up just uh, have to find the there you are Okay, let's hope I can reach with the command uh, to the position I needed. There we are. Canister in Boom! Tow. Five meld. Take Cover that. Position here. We are fucking rich now. Targets. Okay, now as for the Moving. lunacy of the enemy, we have a visual on more enemies. That's a okay. And I knew that was going to happen, I just didn't keep a crap. Do we have lock and load? Yes we do, that's good. Now, 
Don't miss him again. Target eliminated. Guns Thank you. Drive. Now we reload. Go. Take care of this guy. Hopefully. Oh. Just okay, King Rai has really bad aim for a sniper. In any case, what we are going to be doing right now is uh, burr, burr, burr. probably hunkering down. Getting it done. But not before we get in position with people. Now we do have Zuriel. Zuriel is going to serve us with the glory of uh, smoke. Maybe even another boombox, uh, but not before we mind merge with pounds once more. For the tankiness! Now, Zerilkin is probably going to have to run away. Let's see what kind of a mechtoid is it. Vulcan mechtoid, so it's like advanced fire control. Yeah, that's going to be a tough overwatch to run. So maybe I shan't. I'll think about it. I can cover the rear with smoke and hunker down, which is going to be a safer choice, and this is what I'm gonna do. The worst thing that's gonna happen is the rear is gonna get flanked and shot by a drone, and I can live Back with in. that. And that stupid mutant just surviving all our shots. So annoying. Oh no! That's a mind fray. And that's a Vulcan Mechtoid coming forth. Or is it now? Here she comes! Incoming That's a okay. Next turn, uh, we should see the uh, sector that is giving the shield, which means that this is going to be King Rike's priority target. If you fuck it up, King Rike, I'm going to be displeased. 63. Damn, you need some aim. But uh, you pulled through. Now, we didn't get an in the zone, but we don't need any. What we are going to do is use the Shredder piercing ammo to get rid of the Vulcan. Come on, Zerirki, you can do it. There you go. As you see, once more, it proves that Shredder and piercing ammo do work together, and they work together very well. They are not mutually exclusive, as one of the viewers thought just comes to show, we don't always have to trust the talc, the tool to that location. Just gotta use the good old fashioned testing in the field as well. Now we get mind bird so that pounds can also rapid fire the Vulcan for the additional crit chance and shit. Because mind merge is not only good for tanky, it's good for everything. The only thing it's not good for is uh, mechtoids. As you see, this is the damage without piercing ammo. There is a noticeable difference. 73, I am going to suppress this guy rather than shoot. If need be, we can still open fire on him. Solid copy. But in a safer spot, and uh, when nobody is going to be endangered by it. Now let's get over here, but without activating the command pod, please. Heading out. And Paul is gonna chill over here. There we go, he can join in on the fun next turn. Right now the important thing is that uh, we also attempt a mind fray on this mechtoid. 
It's not gonna work very well for us, or can we kill it? Okay, 83% chance to hit. Uh, that's going to be very... Very tough choice, but I'm going to shoot rather than take a 30% mind fray. Now when the Mectoid tries to move or anything, then he's gonna be killed by the suppression. Especially with a drone working to uh, repair, right? Okay, that was the that was dangerous. If that shot would hit, we would be in trouble. But as is, we can simply manage it. There we go. One more rapid fire, and that's that. That's okay, Zerilkin's gonna get Psy inspired in a second. Right after we kill that uh, sectoid with our sniper. Or actually right before, because we need to see. Okay, who has Psy inspiration? Somebody had. There you are. And we can give some to Pounce as well. I give you strength. Because Pounce is an awesome person, awesome soldier, and deserves everything that's get, uh, good for him. Now, 93. I know you can do it, King. There we go. You don't need great aim to be a great sniper. It helps, though. Okay, now, 65. With flak ammo, if we hit, it's gonna be great. Or at least uh, very good. Now, let's uh, allow the real to kill the Mectoid. That's what you get, bitch. I love that little techno dance they make right before they die. And the very definition of an overkill followed promptly. That's affirmative. Can Lara take care of the flying, flying floater? Yes, she can. Is she in cover? Nope, but covers for pussies. Now, That's Pounce is going to flank and eliminate the remaining sectoid. And... It survived. Holy shit. That's one tough sectoid. Does it deserve being brought that home in one stuff. piece? Just uh, as uh, a reward for its bravery and toughness? No, it doesn't. Headed there now. And that's that. I hope I was uh, explained. There is more. Oh, there is that stupid muton. Oh, oh yeah. You want a piece of me, little bitch? Come on, you and me, one on one. I'm a hook you in the gubber, mate. Already there. Come on, Zerinkin, you can do it. And oh, well, that's interesting, isn't it? In that case, I'm going to t uh, allow this shot for the sniper, so we conserve the important ammunition. Locked and loaded. And prepare to receive our guest. Rolling out. That's a seven percenter, but we don't have anything else, so might as well. That's it. I'm out. That's it. No way that just happened. Moving. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be fine. And how do I know you're gonna be fine? That's uh, easy, actually. I'm gonna send Paul to be a bigger target. Because Paul is in the heavy mech that gets a lot of everything and uh, is a bad bigger threat to the mutants. So I'm pretty sure the mutants gonna either run away or try to shoot Paul. And Paul doesn't really care. Even if somehow the enemy decides that 
that, uh, for example, Pounce or Zeril are better targets, that doesn't change anything. They all have Titan armor, they don't give a fuck. See, that's what you get. Now, uh, since Zeril needs to reload, Meld has been picked up. And the uh, uh, ball edge follows. You wanna run away from me? Not nice of you, very not nice. And now, just by a complete accident, we have people in a perfect situation to set up uh, a fight with the command pod. All we need to do is to prepare, reload, and we are practically surrounding them already. Which is all very Running. nice. There we have Zuriel. Pounce is ready to get to the door. Atreides is ready to provide the mind merge for Pounce. And two outsiders won't even know what hit them. And yes, of course, we have uh, our King Reich ready to open fire on anything inside the UFO by a nice line over here. With luck, it's gonna be fine. Got it covered. Without luck, we're gonna be fucked in any case. Eyes on target. Eyes on target. Now, can we get any shots inside? No, we cannot. Position Which means confirmed. that we are temporarily retreating. Bear with me. Mind merge with Pounce. Pounce should be the only person not hunkering down right now. Where is Pounce? Okay, let's try it that way. There we go. Everybody's gonna hunker down. Pounce is going to will be standing in here st sticking out like a sore thumb and what's going to happen is the enemies are going to go to the wall they are going to be prepared they are going to be shooting at pounds and it's going to be a big big mistake I'm going to only have King Rike steady weapon because King Rike has shitty aim for a sniper and uh, once they are where I want them to be, which is uh, right over here shooting pounds, then we will collateral damage, destroy the wall and kill them like little bitches. That is assuming of course they do what I want them to do. I'm pretty sure they will. You know, pretty sure is never the same as completely sure, so we are going to be using the smoke grenade also to protect uh, Zuriel and the gunner, who are in a, not a very amazing cover. Oh, you little fuckers. You cheeky bastard. Okay, so they want it that way. How far can we go with collateral damage? That far. Can we reach that merge with collateral damage? If we can, then uh, of course we will. And uh, That's affirmative. then Lara is going to simply kill the cheeky fucker because she's that good. Fuck no, we can't reach. What if we just go all the way? Now we can reach, but uh, now we can't, can't do it now, can we? Well, Position we sort of can. You want a piece of me? Firing on target position. Of course, now Lara can't kill this guy, but we have other shooters. For example, King Rike, who has a hundred percent. And uh, hmm. not cool, bro. We can, of course, crit this guy, but it will, it's not going to give us anything unless we do it right. 
And to do it right, I will have to have more than one shot against them. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. Because they regenerate, which means that just not killing them is not an option. And I apparently can't kill them. Yeah, so instead I'm going to get myself into better positioning. I will try to throw a boombox at them, it's very unlikely to actually work, but what the hell, why not? It's something. I can get uh, the reel to start moving to pick up the flank. Just gotta protect yourself. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that shot because I don't have anything better happening and I need to reduce this guy's mobility so he doesn't try to do any funny business, right? No funny business. I'm going to mind merge with the mech because the mech is the most likely uh, victim of any enemy shooting and we don't have a DR from one for all so let's have a DR from mind merge. On Overwatch. And it's the best we can do. Now he won't flank anyone, he doesn't have any cover and uh, he managed to break all the whole titan armor with one shot. Systems within acceptable parameters. Thanks to Mind Merge. Now this cheeky fucker is reload, uh, regenerating I mean. All of them have shot. We can get in position to ab the uh, ambush the guy with the, in the next turn, then Zerir can kill him himself, herself and she doesn't have to any... She doesn't need any help. But what we need is... Uh, Well, what we need is a rapid fire, but uh, I need to know if he has close combat specialist. There we are. Change of plans. <laughs> can't do it that way. Uh, we can't get there, however. Solid copy. Come on. Time to cowboy up. 264s are better than nothing. Especially if they hit and they're fucking awesome. And now it is time to eliminate them. And yeah, the boom box wasn't a very big option in any case. Simply because we can't handle it. And uh, we will use a smoke to move in and suppress the guy so that the real king can ambush him next turn. I want him to shoot back at the gunner. Stepping off. And of course a trader's goes to fix Lara. Okay. That should do it. Lara can of course provisionally fix herself, but then a trader's will fix her next turn if need be, and all will be well. Now you fire and miss. Oh no. Is there real? Hunt him down. That's what I wanted to hear. Hauling ass. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. This is the end, motherfucker. X ray down. Excellent work. All objectives complete. Indeed, and we only got one enemy fire against us. Unfortunately, it did probably this, uh, break a Titan Armor, but Titan Armor doesn't ap apparently need any shots at it to, go like it, to break. Sure to boost everyone's confidence. Well done, Commander. And uh, nobody got a promotion, not even the sergeants who I have taken for this mission, just to make it more uh, difficult for everyone, but uh, and, and for them to get experience, of course. And, uh, well, at least we got Telerium and Meld. That's something. But Plasma Nova Gun is broken, which is fine. We need to start building a Plasma Dragon, not that we need uh, 
Well, we need it for ourselves, of course, but uh, we also need uh, one for the foundry, which is a very important thing, and we need a 369 cash for that. Where do you think am I getting the money from, huh? Okay, let's start selling the Gauss. I'm gonna keep long rifle and auto rifle. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. Those I will keep. Those I will keep. Yeah, I don't think we are going to be using laser lances anymore. We have seven alien rifles. Yeah, it's gonna be okay for plasma cannons. Alien heavy weapons we have enough. Gauss carbine. You are unlikely to ever be needed again. And, uh, and, and, and. Shadow device, mimic, bacon. We will need sentry gun for the shifts eventually. We will start taking shifts again. When I have a surplus of uh, resources, if I have a surplus of resources, I'm gonna build a couple of. Uh, the floating shifts, they're fucking awesome. The latest contact turned out to be a dud. Probably just another drunk pilot who fell asleep on a long haul. Okay, that's enough money. Thank you. Now we are going to be using most of what we have to build a plasma dragon so we can build the enhanced plasma. Hey, do we have money for two? Yeah, but I, uh, I can make money for two, but I don't have enough valerium, so fuck it. Okay, let's come. Uh, large, it's going to be abducting. Do I have a plasma? I don't have a plasma to stop him. Fine, you can have Commander, the abductions. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Okay, so the next episode we are going to be taking care of an alien abduction for the first time in a while. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If so, let me know in the comments, like the video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and so on and so forth. And I will see you again in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.